Now I'm going to show you some little tricks and te techniques that I use to make uh, problems like this quicker and easier and allow you to do them more accurately and more rapidly. Uh, the first is a zero. A zero can uh, speed up the process if you recognize that zero times anything is zero. So when I do this problem, 295 times 703, I start here with my 3, and 3 times 5 is 15, and then 3 times 9 is 27, and I add the 1, and I get a 28, and 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 2 is 8. So I've done the first row, I get 8, 8, 5, like that. Then I can put a placeholder, and then instead of multiplying this 0 times each of these things and writing all those zeros, I know that when I add these numbers up, those zeros aren't going to do anything because adding zero doesn't, doesn't change anything. So instead of even bothering to write out that whole row, I'm just going to skip it and go straight to the seven here. And I'll put in another placeholder so that I'm starting here in the hundreds column. And I just start working with the seven. Cross those out up top. Seven times five is 35. Nine times seven is 63 and I add the 3 and I get 66 and then 7 times 2 is 14 plus that 6 up there is 20 and then I can add these numbers I get a 5 and 8 8 plus 5 is 13 I have a 7 a 0 and a 2 207,385 is the answer now in the second problem 409 times 271, I'm going to rewrite that. I'm going to write it as 271 times 409. And that allows me to skip an entire row of the uh, multiplication. I do 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 7 is 63. And 9 times 2 is 18. Plus that 6 is a 24. And then this zero right there allows me to skip that second row. I don't have to do zero times one or zero times seven or zero times two because I know those are all going to come out to zero. So I can just skip that row and put in my placeholder zero and another because I'm now here on my third digit in the hundreds place. And I do the multiplication here. Four times one, four times seven, and four times two. So four times one is four. 4 times 7 is 28, so I need a 2 up here. And 4 times 2 is 8, plus that 2 is a 10. And then I draw a line and I add. 9 and 0 is 9. I have 3 there. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. And I have a 1 there and a 1 there. So 110,839 is the answer. Now we'll do this example and I'll show you that a repeated digit can also speed up the process of multiplication. See this 4 right here and then a 4 shows up again there. That's going to make this a lot more efficient. I'll start here with the 4. 4 times 8 is 32. Then 4 times 1 is 4 plus the 3 is a 7. And then 4 times 2 is 8. And then I do the second row. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 1 is 2, plus that 1 is 3, and then 2 times 2 is 4. And then I look at this 4, and I need two zeros down here. Now when I do 4 times 8, and 4 times 1, and 4 times 2, I'll get the exact same numbers when I did 4 times 8, 4 times 1, and 4 times 2 with this 4. So I can just look at this row. I know I'm going to have a, a 2, a 7, and an 8. So I don't have to actually do the work in my mind. I can just write down the 2, the 7, and the 8. And the fact that I've already multiplied all of these digits by 4 once allows me to not have to do it again for this other 4. I can just write those digits down. And then I'm ready to add. I have a 2 there, 6 and 7 is 13. Um, down here, I'm going to think 8 and 2 is 10, and then I add the 3 is 13, and 1 is 14. And then 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 1 more is 12, 
and 8 plus 1 is 9. So 92,432 is the answer. And here are two more examples just showing that the process can be sped up. In this first one we have a 1 here and I know 1 multiplied by each of these digits will give me those same digits. So I can just write those numbers down. I can immediately write 274 and the first row of my multiplication is done. So having a 1 in there makes it nice and easy. Then I do the second digit. So I need a 0. 9 times 4 is 36. And 9 times 7 is 63. Plus 3 is 66. And 9 times 2 is 18. Plus the 6 is 24. And I draw a line and I add. I have a 4. And then 7 and 6 is 13. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and the 4 and the 2 just come straight down. So 24,934 is my answer. This example ends up being really easy. I just do this 7 and I'll be basically finished. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. And then 7 times 3 is 21, plus the 1 is 22. So I have 2275. Then when I get to my second, uh, second row, it's a 0 there. So I don't even have to do the second row. I can go straight to the third. And the third is a 7. And I already have the digits that result when I multiply these numbers by a 7. So I can just repeat those digits. I have a 5, a 7, a 2, and a 2. So I just write those down. 5, 7, 2, 2. And I'm finished with the multiplication. I just have to add these up to get my answer. And that's pretty easy. A 5 there, a 7 there, a 7 there. 7 and 2 is 9, and my two twos come down. 22,000, or sorry, 229,775 is my answer.